We reached out to Alex and her management team and thought it would be perfect for her to talk to Steven to clear things up and she agreed. We're back at it. So essentially we put so much work into this. We've done a lot of investigation and we actually have a surprise. We talked to you guys individually. We kind of heard different stories. Did you guys have time to talk with each other? And where do you guys both stand? I don't know if they were planning on her leaving, so decided to work through this, that's all. So your goal is no matter what the results are today, is that you wanna work through this together? Yeah. So we actually have a surprise. We reached out to Alex's management and we're actually gonna get him on this call. Huh. Okay. That'd be Matt. Alex. Hello. Hi. Hey, uh, this is David with socialcatfish.com. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? Doing. <laughs> doing good. Thanks for doing this, by the way. Thank you for having me. I was just saying, I people need to know that I'm not on the internet, like, asking for money. I do want to start off and say, Alex, have you ever met Steven, the, the guy in the, the black shirt? No. Yeah. And so like Steven, I, we brought Alex on here because we deal with so many people in her situation. And you know, yes, she's like a celebrity. Yes, people know who she is, but people take advantage of her and she's also a victim, right? right. Correct. And yeah. so people steal her pictures and they scam other people out of money and they don't care about what it puts th people through. So right. I'll let Alex talk about that for a, a few minutes and just maybe talk about like what she's been through. But I, I just want to be clear. She's never met you or talked to you or, or I don't mean it in, in a bad way, but she doesn't know who you are. All the time. I mean, this happens a lot. Um, people just, and, and this also happens, not just me, but m many of my colleagues, my close girlfriends in the industry, it happens to all of us. People steal our photos that we put out online. That's why you see some girls with a watermark with their, their social media handle. I don't do that all the time. And so they'll take the photos and sometimes they even do that and they'll, they'll erase the watermark, they'll Photoshop it. And then what they do is they use these photos and pretend to be either me personally or us or just some random person in another state, just like a pretty girl. And then and then trick people and this happens all the time it happens every single day i mean it's just it's a problem where is your social media and how does somebody know what's what is real and what isn't look at the follower count that's number one if there's a high follower count so on my instagram i have 1.5 million followers twitter is like 137,000. facebook has like 45,000. frankly i don't have time to any more profiles and I do have um, like a not safe for work Twitter, for example, but I clearly write that in my profile and I am constantly sharing that on my profile. So I would, I am not making all these little tiny profiles on all these social media platforms to talk to people because I'm a busy woman and I work all the, I'm like, I, I don't do that. I never will. And then Alex, I wanted to run through like some of these pictures that were given to Steven. There was a picture where you were like, it looks like you're holding the camera, but it was in a, a driver's license picture. Did you see that one? Yeah, we wanted to know where did you guys take that picture? The picture that was used in the driver's license. Um, that was a photo that I took of myself in my bedroom like two years ago. The next one, you have luggage. What was he's, the backstory on that? going to take a trip to the UK. A trip to UK? What's the backstory on that? One, I've never even been to the UK, so that's a lie. Number two, that was actually a photo of me heading to, I believe it was Las Vegas, um, two years ago. Gotcha. And then the last thing we want to run through, we thought it was kind of comical because there was like a video uh, that was like sliced halfway through. Did you see that? Good morning, Stephen. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay well and stay safe. The only time I ever do that is if it's for a custom shout out or a custom video that somebody pays for. So I am on a site called Cameo where fans can pay for me to give them a custom shout out in which I would say their name or and or also on OnlyFans. And I'm also on a site called Sex Panther where you can text me. Other than that, outside of my platforms that I use to communicate, I don't 
I don't communicate with anybody on a personal level. Very cool. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking all the time to run through it. Um, I just want to reiterate, like people in your situation, they're victims too, that this has just become part of your life. Like, yes, you are, you know, trying to make a living for yourself and you are a, a celebrity, but people take advantage of that. And advantage. unfortunately, this is part of your everyday life, something you deal with. Um, Steven, any questions that you have? No, it's okay. Thank you. Cool. Well, Alex, um, you're free to jump off. Again, thank you for taking the time to jump on. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yep. Bye. Well, what do you, what do you think? I don't know what to think right now. I mean, I guess I'll, it all sink in a little while. I just think it gets some time to go through it.